hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video is gonna be a haul video it is um kind of an accumulative haul i did buy some stuff from ulta and i did get some things from target as well and i believe from walgreens so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what i got so let's go ahead and start with well, I'm not going to go in order and I'm not going to uh, separate it by where I got what from. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing I picked up was this Thayer's, I believe that's how you say it, astringent witch hazel. Um, this is the lemon scented one. This was the same size as the original set at Ulta, but this one was five something and the original one was 10 something so i was like just to try it i'll go ahead and get the lemon scented one and i really like how it smells and i have used it already and i got it kind of recently um i don't want this to spill i feel like i'm gonna spill it i got it kind of recently and i really have been noticing um a bit of a difference in my skin i did see i believe it was juicy jazz talking about it that it did clear up some of her acne spots and I have noticed that as well. The next thing I picked up was this Garnier Skin Active Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream. This is for dry skin. I have not used this yet because I'm currently using a deluxe size sample of the Clinique Hydrating Jelly, I believe it's called, which is really, really good and I really love it. So after I finish this up, I'm probably going to get, well, depending on how much I like this, I'm probably going to pick up the full size of the Clinique. So what it looks like is just a little glass jar. It's really cute. It looks like this. They're, they have buy one, get one half off right now currently at Ulta. So I believe this was $8.99. So I picked this up and then since they had the half off, I did also pick up their blackhead eliminating scrub and this is with charcoal and I have been using this already and I really like it so far. So, and I believe this is $7.99 or $8.99, but I got it for four or something because of the half off. I also picked up this e.l.f bounce back jelly cleanser to remove my makeup because i was using the garnier um micellar water that was in my empties video that which is probably going to go up before this one and i didn't really like it much but i used it up so i heard really good things about this so i picked it up and so far it's it's okay it's i do like it but i didn't think it was I thought it was just going to be easier um, to take off my makeup. It does the job, but just with a little bit of effort. And e.l.f. skincare was also at half off. So, I, oh, it just fell. I did pick up this cooling under eye refresher. And it is, I did get this half off. So this was only $2. Regular price, it's 4 so it looks like this. I have already been using this. I can't say that I feel a, I see a difference yet, but I do really like how it feels. And I also picked up this Beach Babe Butter Mask from Not Your Mother's. And I did try it once and I really like how it left my hair. I have bleached my hair and I've been dyeing my hair a lot recently, so it, it's it's really damaged i'm losing my curls so i just kind of wanted to get some things to rehydrate it and kind of get it back to how it was because i really have been damaging my hair lately so i'm hoping that this actually does make a difference then the not your mother's products also were um buy one get one half off so i picked up their glisten up high gloss top coat i wanted to pick up an oil or anything that'll just give me a nice shine when i straighten my hair and so yes i picked this up i haven't straightened my hair in 
I want to say almost two weeks, so I have not tried this yet, but I'm very excited to try. I did spray a little bit on my daughter's hair, and it looks so glossy, so nice. So I have high hopes for this. Then I also picked up this from The Ordinary. I picked this up at Ulta as well. I believe this was like $5.90. It's their, I think this is pronounced niacinamide. 10% plus zinc 1% it says it's a high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula now this I have been trying for I want to say it's about to be a week already or yeah it's about a week that I've been trying this already and I absolutely have been seeing a difference in my pore size so this might be a new holy grail item for me because it is really really good and it just comes in a little I'm trying to open it but it's so hard that's what she said and it comes in this little vial like this and it's like a little dropper so it is it's really nice and I really have been enjoying it and I have been seeing a difference and for $5.90 that is not bad at all and then I did pick up a couple I have four of these they are the matte finish um, spray setting spray these are the travel sizes but I ended up noticing that on the Ulta website that NYX products are um, if you buy a NYX product you get free shipping no matter how much you spend so when I was placing these orders, I just kept buying a matte finishing spray. So I think total I bought around five, but I have four here and I have one in my purse. And then let's see what else I picked up. I also picked up, well, oh yeah. Um, I don't know how to do what is I don't know what to put next well I this is I think this was the last item I purchased this is the elf juicy gloss lip gloss I did but I put it in the packaging the wrong way because I did try it on but I did want to leave it in the packaging for you guys to see so it looks like that and I do have this in the watermelon and I love it I'm actually almost out of it so I did want to try a new shade and I really like the formula and it was on sale or I don't know if they dropped the price down because when I first purchased it it was five dollars and right now it's currently three forty nine on the Ulta website so if you were interested I don't know if it's a price error or what but if you were I'd probably get it now that that's what the price is I'm not sure how much it is ringing up in store but online they are $3.49 and then i did buy a couple of things at target that i did find on clearance so i got this tresemme between washes anti-frizz cream again just trying to take a little bit better care of my hair i believe this was five or six dollars regular price and i only paid two it was on clearance and then i also got their all-in-one spray this was also on clearance it was again five or six dollars and it, i only paid two dollars for it then i picked up the milani conceal and perfect two in one foundation this is in the shade creamy nude this was also on clearance i'm not really sure what is the um original price but i only paid four dollars so that's the only reason why i picked it up i did need a new foundation but I just wanted to try this out because I've heard some great things about it. So hopefully it does work for me. Maybe I might do a first impressions video, even though I know this foundation is old. But if you would like to see that, then leave a comment letting me know. Then I picked up this Physician's Formula Rose All Night um, Ultra Rich Restorative Cream. As you can see there. It was $13 and I only paid $6.48 so I thought that was a really good deal and it had really good reviews on the Ulta website so I'm excited to try this as you can see I've been I've been doing too much and then 
Finally from Target, I picked up this e.l.f. cleansing duo face brush. Again, it was $14 and I only paid seven. So I have yet to use this, but because I didn't want to show you guys, well, I could have just showed you the box since I'm not even showing you the brush, but now I'm going to show you the brush. Um, I have not used it yet, but now that I'm, I've shown you guys, then I will use it starting today. So I'm very excited to use it. And then that was all that I got from Target. And now I picked up this Wet n Wild. Oh, I actually put that in the wrong way. As you can see, this is Wet n Wild here. Um, I did take them out because I wanted to see them. And then I obviously placed them upside down. But this is their 10-piece brush set. This was $30, I believe, at Walgreens. And I only paid $6 for it on clearance. I did do... Um, I ordered it online and I did in-store pickup. I'm not sure if they're still available, but if they are, I will try to link, the, link them down below so you guys can pick them up. They do feel really, really soft and I cannot wait to use them. Again, I, didn't, I haven't used them yet because I didn't want to show you guys a bunch of dirty brushes, but again, I will probably use this today as well. And then finally, I did want to show you guys all the palettes I picked up because I know I said I wasn't gonna buy any more palettes but my little brother got me the going coconuts palette for Christmas because I really 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 wanted it and it was kind of like a gateway palette for me to start spending money on palettes again so I did buy quite a few I have already used this because like I said I got it for Christmas so it looks like this very pretty I love 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 this palette so you will be seeing a swatch video coming soon and then I also picked up the frozen 2 Elsa palette from Ulta well I said Elsa and this is Anna so it is on as you can see here the packaging is so beautiful when my daughter saw these palettes she completely lost it and I have worn this already as you can see and I will be doing swatch videos on all of these palettes so that will be coming soon I also picked up the Elsa palette even though a lot of people gave it um, really bad reviews but I used it and I actually liked it so it looks like that and then there are the shades I also picked up the Nabla dreamy 2 palette I have always been very curious of their formula and their palettes look absolutely gorgeous they didn't have the one that i wanted which i believe is the soul blooming on the ulta website so i did settle for this one just to kind of try the formula and i really 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 liked it as you can see it is super pretty those especially this one really stands out to me so i really really enjoy the formula and this is another gateway palette and I'm probably going to get some more Nabla palettes after that. And I also picked up the Gimme Butterflies palette from ColourPop. Today was the first day that I actually used it and I fell in love with it. This is the most recent palette that I received. So... It looks a mess right now because I used the glitter today but look at how beautiful that palette looks absolutely beautiful I love it and then I picked up the Jackie Aina palette my best friend um, got this palette quite a few months ago and she loved it and I do collect um, mostly all of the Anastasia palettes I was gonna pass on this um, I'm not a huge Jackie Aina fan. Um, I don't watch her videos really at all. And 
it wasn't for that purpose that I didn't pick it up. I just told myself, do I really need it? No. But I did use it already. And I have got to say that it is a beautiful palette. But I can never get it to come out of the packaging. I should have just left it out of the packaging because I knew that I was going to have this problem trying to show you guys the palette itself. So this is what it looks like. I love how the packaging looks. And here is the shades on it. And I, if you aren't new to my channel, you know my favorite Anastasia palette is the Subculture palette. I know a lot of people don't like it, but it is my favorite palette. And this is definitely giving it a run for its money. I love the formula in this palette i love how everything blends i love how pigmented it is it's just a great palette like i can't believe i didn't buy it sooner because i absolutely love it so it might take over subcultures place but as of right now it is definitely in my number two spot on best anastasia palettes so finally the last palette that i did purchase is the Carly Bible palette. Now, the packaging on this palette is gorgeous. When I first saw it, I was like, you know, I I need this palette. It's beautiful. It's so girly. The shades just looked really up my alley. And it's just, it's okay. I have worn it and I'm not too impressed by it. The shimmers are beautiful, but the mattes, not so much. But I, like I said, I do collect these ABH palettes, so I will keep it. But I will be showing you swatches, like I said, on all of these palettes and let you know my thoughts on them. So I do have a lot of stuff to work with here. Um, let me just kind of fill this up so it doesn't look empty. And I do have a lot of videos, as you can see, plans for some swatch videos, just kind of show you guys everything. And I also have, I believe, an Ulta package coming tomorrow. I did order the new ColourPop Blush Mood or Nude Mood and Blush Crush palettes. There's two new palettes, very neutral palettes. I did order those, so they should be coming in tomorrow. And I will be doing swatch videos on them as well. And I'm actually waiting on this weekend to go pick up the Anastasia M. Resi palette. I do have points at Ulta that I'm going to be using in order to purchase that palette. And I may pick up another palette while I'm there. So um, if you guys want to see that and you want to see swatches on them, then just make sure that you are subscribed. And that is all for my haul. Um, if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you aren't subscribed already, then please hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.